Okay, here I'm asked to tell which of these two prices of the shares, that is, price of share X and price of share Y, which of the two is more stable in value. More stable means that less variability, right? That is, uh, if I want to tell it in mathematical terms, coefficient of variance should be uh, small. That is, if coefficient of variance of y is less than x, then I will tell that y is more stable than x. Or if coefficient of variation of x is less than y, then I have to tell that x is more stable than y. It is same as telling that y is more variable as x. Okay? So, x is more stable than y is same as the statement uh, y is more variable okay than x okay so now for that to find out the coefficient of variation i need to find out the mean and the standard deviation right so what is the mean of x mean of x i'll call it as x bar it is equal to sum of all these 10 values divided by 10 so sum of these 10 values comes out as 510 if I divide it by 10, then my mean is 51, right? And similarly, y bar will be sum of these 10 values divided by 10. So, that is equal to 1050 divided by 10, which is equal to 105, right? So, now, uh, I need to find the variance also, that or the standard deviation also, to tell, find out the coefficient of variation. So, here, what is the uh, variance of x? For that, I need to calculate x minus x bar, right? So, I'll continue the table here with the value of x minus x bar and y minus y bar, okay? So, for the same corresponding values, uh, 35 minus 51 is 16 and this is 3 uh, sorry it is minus 16 but I am concerned only with the absolute value here because anyway I am going to square it so it is 16 and 3 followed by 3 and 2 followed by uh, 1 and 0 followed by 2 and 0 followed by uh, 5 and 1 followed by uh, this will be 7 and 2 right followed by 1 and 1 it is minus 1 I am taking the absolute value it is 1 uh, 1 and 2 and 0 and 1 and finally uh, this will be 2 and uh, 4 fine here as we can see all these are one digit numbers and here I have a 16 also which is very large so what will be summation x minus x bar square uh, by n right this is equal to my variance of x correct because there is nothing like frequency because there are simply numbers so my variance of x will be simply summation of the squares of these values so that's equal to uh, 256 plus 9 plus 1 plus 4 plus 25 plus 49 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 4 divided by 10 so sigma x square is equal to uh, 266 270 285 plus 5 sorry 295 plus 5 I'll get 300 350 350 by 10 correct uh, this is equal to 35 and similarly what is my sigma y square that is equal to 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 
plus uh, 16, right? Divided by 10. If I apply the same formula, so that is equal to uh, 9 plus 10 plus 5 plus 16, right? 9 plus 10 is 19, 19 plus 5 is 24, 24 plus 16 is 40. So 40 by 10, which is equal to 4. Uh, okay, fine. So what will be my sigma x? The value of sigma x is equal to square root of 35. So which is nearly 5 point uh, 8 I can say because uh, square root of 36 is 6 so it will be slightly less than 6 so I can tell it as 5.9 or 5.8 so I will call it 5.9 and what is my sigma y sigma y is equal to 2 so I got the standard deviation and mean so what will be the coefficient of variation in x that is 5.9 by 51 into 100 right which is nearly uh, I can say 14 percent it's an approximate value and what is the coefficient of variation of y it is 2 by 105 into 100 so that is nearly uh, 1.85 percent okay these are just approximate values but you can see the range this is 14 percent and this is less than 2 percent so obviously co coefficient of variation of x is higher so x is more variable or i can say is y is more stable